Uh, hello. All right. Well, this is a uh, extension of the first the unboxing that I did. Now we're going to do something with the seed. Oh boy. I'll tell you, it's really good that they give you this little guide. Yeah, I can't read lately, so it was interesting. I had to really strain to read this. But the other two that they gave me for free, I had to look up. And luckily, uh, did I take my glasses off? I did. It is the Red Flame and the Hermosa. Those two you go ahead and put directly into the soil. And I'm going to talk to you about the Hermosa. Yeah. I'm not even using sterile soil for the Hermosa. I'm using what I had for my strawberries. It just didn't work out. Don't know what it is about me and strawberries, but it just doesn't ever end up working out. And uh, I'm using fresh soil for the red flame. I don't have pictures of them right now. But those should come up rather quickly. The Hermosa. Mm -hmm. They're like weeds. There are some plants that people give me that I get so upset about. I find new homes for them. Because some plants have this reseeding thing that is just crazy. And Hermosas are one of them. They'll just take over everywhere. So, yeah, we're not going to worry about that indoors, but I'm making a outdoor zen type garden outside for my bonsais that can live outside. It's actually good for them to go through. That's why we're going to have to put some of them in the uh, refrigerator because they have to go through a pseudo winter process. I'd like to skip that because I don't want to put trees in my refrigerator if possible. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so... I'd like to avoid all these little sproutings from coming. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. My neighbor has one. I've lived here for 30 years. Ask me how many of those things I pull up every year. And if I don't, ask me what a chore it is to dig them up. They just get everywhere. I'm not going to complain because I'm bonsaiing it. And I'm hoping indoors it's not going to plant itself too often. So, I still would prefer though. To use the distilled water, like I was told would be the best thing to use for seeds. My seedling rate is so bad. This one strawberry I had, one, was out of a whole package. We don't even want to talk about my jalapenos and lettuce because they're non-existent. There's nothing out of all the packs of seeds that I've put down. So we're going to try taking the growers that I've been listening to, their advice on it. And we're going to go ahead and use the distilled water. And of course, I'm going to, this is a little bit of peroxide. I may have put in, oh, a half of a teaspoon. Can you see that? Oh, I see it on my camera. I don't know why it does that, huh? Sorry. But anyway, half a teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide in there. And I'm going to put this on the top around the ceilings when I'm done. And I'm going to also put them in here. A little bit of uh, the hydrogen peroxide water in there too. I'm trying to be really really careful and I also know and I wanted to tell you that a lot of these box uh, seed uh, packages that they have well you'd like my light posts I got my uh, succulent stones and the cute little Dixie cup yeah only one actually made it out of there and it didn't make it for very long it was very weak so you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But let's go ahead and put the soil down a bit. This is one of those self-watering, um, oh, turn it around. See, I could just water it from the bottom if I wanted to, but I talked to my son about this. He grows a lot too, and he said that this wasn't good. It wasn't good just to water from the bottom because I was doing that because of the fungus gnats. So, yeah, we're going to go from the top, but at least it has a little tray in the bottom it can pull up from. But with seedlings, we're not going to be too worried about that, so we're only going to do the middle part here. We'll let that sit for a little bit while we get the other one. 
Now, real quickly, I don't know if you get any of these meals, but somebody used to come over here and bring over these frozen meals. And inside were these little, you know, it has a little strainer like in it. Well, I kept them because, uh, watch what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna use them for these other things too, but when we drain the seeds out, because they're gonna be a little slimy and stuff, it's nice to pour them in through here and just be able to drain them right out of there. Yeah, I'm a recycler. So, we're gonna use this one though to wet the soil. Now let's take out, which one is this one? It's the red flame. So, now I've soaked them a little bit longer than the 48 hours because they have very thick seed holes. All of them do. But um, we'll talk about that in a sec. Ooh, they look soft now. Ugh. Yeah, ugh. yeah, they'll get slimy too. In the refrigerator too. That's why you got to change them out every, uh, what it'll tell us, like every week or so. So that's what they look like now because they've gotten soft. Kind of gross, huh? So, yeah, I'm just going to put them in there. Fancy, huh? Okay, and this is a Hermosa. Oh, I'll get those out there. I plant them that's when I come along with the peroxide stuff and then I'm just gonna let them sit same with this guy we did this one the red flame just to make sure if I was really smart, yeah, I would have uh, sterilized the pot, but it came in the box, so I'm going, okay, hopefully it doesn't have any kind of bacteria on it. But, yeah, that's what I did with these two. And we're going to let them sit. Now, I made myself another grow room. I had to. Um, so, I basically have more room than I did before. So, yeah, a lot of them are going in there for now. I'll show them to you when we do an update. So for these here, they're that cocoa core. And what I'm going to do is let you watch them. Oh gosh, I hope I wasn't in that. I'm going to let you watch them expand. See, they come like this. Oh, I took out my handy dandy scissors. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm trying to get more organized here. It's hard when you have to move all those plants from one room to another. And then there's always the fungus gnats. But, yeah, we'd like to stay off that, too. So that's why I like to continue with hydrogen peroxide. 
I just will until someone shows me a reason why I shouldn't. So here's two of them. And we're going to add the water. still take on some moisture but being that they came from this size to this size I'm gonna fluff it up a little bit here but um that's pretty remarkable almost like magic instant dirt again I need to remind you you know even though they're just seeds and it's still important to sterilize your equipment a little bit of alcohol. Nope. Old bag. Just wash it down really good. We're trying to keep away. I I should have gotten the name of that. Here we go. Gotten the name of that. Uh, oh, what is that fungus called? I don't remember now. But um, it's the one that makes everything dampen off. All your seeds dampen off when they die. Or that thin film. It's almost like a striation over the top. Um, okay, we don't have to get too technical here. But anyway, that same fungus is uh, what we're trying to stay off. That's why we're using the distilled water. All this stuff is brand new. And now, without getting in front of it, I'm just going to fluff it up. soil so you can really send the seed and the pot at the same time so what I'm gonna do is put them in my <laughs> I got two pounds of mushrooms in here and I knew I knew needed this for something one day that's a hoarder's mentality but it works for me see perfectly it works for me so Gonna go with the Vesteria. Ugh. Ooh, good, 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 good. That's always a good sign. See, but I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them off because they look really slimy. So the, I'm just gonna use my hydrogen peroxide water, and that's how I'm gonna rinse them off when it, for the ones I put it in the refrigerator as well. Because they'll get slimy and you got to come in there and wash them off really well. Oh, I'm really happy about this one. See, it's already trying to sprout. These ones, oh, they're soft though. The hulls are soft. That's what you're trying to do in the water. So we'll just see what happens. I'm putting this one in the middle.
gives a whole new meaning to Rob Peter to pay Paul. Yeah, I should have thought about that ahead of time. These ones I'm just going to put in the middle because I'm going to take the strongest plant. Ha, ah, that sounded confident of me, didn't it? As if I'd have so many. All right, well, I just wanted to get that one ready. Well, I'm kind of at a loss as to what happened. There's no seeds in here at all. I don't know what happened to them. Oh, I put them in there already. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. See, that's why I, that's another thing we're going to do is we're going to mark this stuff. Because this anything can happen. It happens to me all of the time. So, this is the uh, maple, the red maple. set these in the grow room that I have, the veg room that I have, and see how well they do. If they start to come up, I can always put more soil on top. Now life gets a little bit easier for now. For now. This is the black pine seeds. What we're going to do is take a uh, paper towel. probably going to trade this paper towel out unless they adhere to it when I change out the water on them. I'll do a follow-up video when I do that. So what I'm going to do is stick them in here like they're going in a little sleeping bag. Okay. I just want to get them in there. Was close. Okay, now for these, I'm going to use my peroxide powder. 
for now. I'm just going to saturate it pretty good, both sides, like a little taco. Taco, no, it's not Tuesday. Anyway, and I'm just going to put their little tag on them. Now I like to leave it a little bit open. I don't know, some that oxygen. So I'll just keep checking on these and making sure that they can breathe. And uh, I'll give them a little air now and again. And these are the Japanese black pine. Ah. Uh -oh. Okay. I'm gonna put them in my other dish. I have a few of these actually. Not a few of the saucers, but a few of the strainers. Judas tree. With these, they say, uh, if they the they don't end up sprouting. I'll have to end up taking the their seed holes off. Sometimes I'll just nick them with um, a pair of uh, tail net clippers, or I will sand them lightly on a uh, sandpaper. Just to try to nick them up and kind of like you would a morning glory seed when you want it to really take off. I did that once, not understanding how much they were going to take off. And I planted like five seed packets to cover one small porch. Yeah, it was interesting. All right, so here, let's fold it up again. Let's do it this way this time. By the way, that's distilled water and hydrogen peroxide. So, do we already hose them off? Yeah, we did. Okay. Let's get them in here in the middle like a burrito. Oh, they just slip through. Huh. Okay, so we're going to get this a little wet. I wanted to double check before I said anything. Um, let me see if I can show you this. Yeah, I'm going by their directions. Um, well, we're going to have to let them sit in the refrigerator for four to six weeks. And we're going to have to check on them every week to make sure they don't get mold and they're not all slimy and everything. We're going to clean them off. And, uh, well, it says... Well, four to six weeks. We'll see how that goes. Charlene, did you hear that? I have someone who's doing this with me. So for the Judas tree and the uh, 
What was the other one? The Japanese uh, maple? Is that the one it is? No, it's for the Judas tree and the Japanese black pine. So for those two, that's the, what we're going to have to go through with that. And I'll tag those later when I, uh, when they get big enough to go in a pot. So that there is all I really had for you. It's just an update. Basically, I'll try to put all this on the same um, playlist so that it's easy to find. But that was just on uh, my Easy Bonsai box I got. Oh, I don't remember all the trees, but I did say them while I went through. So I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I surely hope for lots of sprouts. Uh, and I will as well. I'll talk to you later.